So what if you could add sound effects to your Mogurt files? So that way in Premiere Pro, you can just drag your Mogurt into the timeline and sound effects is included. This is exactly what I'm going to show you how to do in today's video. Let's get into it. Hello everyone, Kelsey here and welcome back to Gal. Today I'm going to show you how to create your very own Mogurt with sound effects inside of After Effects. And you'll also walk away learning how to create your own image placeholders inside of the Mogurt. So for this demo, I'm using a free After Effects template from Mixkit and Mixkit sponsored today's video. Everything on Mixkit is 100% free. There's no caveats. You can download as many free templates as you want, music, sound effects, stock video, even some stock photos. So my link is just down below if you wanna go check it out. And yeah, let's go ahead and jump on in. So first off, let's download this free text message template from Mixkit. Next, let's download this free sound effects from Mixkit. It's called Long Pop. So now we can open up the text message template in After Effects. And just to note, if you download a template that's not an After Effects file already, let's say it's a Mogurt file, how do you open that up in After Effects? Well, here's what you can do. First, you need to rename the ending to .zip and then double click to unzip it. And now you'll see a .ae graphic file and rename it to .zip again. And then double click to open it. And then you'll have the original After Effects file that you can open up in After Effects. So that is an important little workaround if you're starting from a Mogurt file and not an After Effects file. So now that we're inside of this text message After Effects file, let's first import the long pop sound effects into the project panel here. And now in the compositions, you can see that we have a message left and a message right. But in order to turn this into a Mogurt file with sound effects, we first need to create a master composition where both of the messages will exist. So let's click on the new comp icon and I'll call this master messages. And you can choose any frame size you like. In this case, I'll choose full HD 1080p. And I'll also make the composition five seconds, which is the length of the animation. So now we can drag both the left and right message comps inside of this master comp. Then we can use the position controls to reposition the messages so they do not overlap each other. Then we can move the message right layer over to the right so that way it animates up after the first message. Next, we can drag in our long pop sound effects into the comp and align it with the left message layer. Then we can play it back. And I think it sounds great and it lines up perfectly. So let's drag it in one more time for the second animation and align it with the message right layer. All right, so now that we have the master comp done, now we can go up to window essential graphics to then begin to build our Mogurt. And it's important to note that the sound will automatically become embedded into the Mogurt file. So let's choose the primary comp to be the master message comp. And then we can begin to drag elements into the essential graphics panel that we want to be editable in Premiere Pro. Let's double click on the message left comp to open it up. And then once again, open it up until you find the text source layers. And then from the essential graphics, let's create a new group and let's call it message one. And now we can open up the source text layers that we want to add into the comp. And then we can drag the source text layers directly up into the message one group. And you can rename these fields to something like edit message. And you can do the same thing for the date and time. Next, the circle image. To make it a placeholder that you can change in Premiere, we first need to add in a real image. So I'm going to drag and drop my headshot into the project panel here and place it inside of the placeholder left comp. And I can delete the other layers as well. Then I'll resize my photo into frame. Then I can drag this image into the message one group as a placeholder. And I can call this replace photo, for example. So now when we go back to the master message comp from the essential graphics, you can see that if I type in new text, you'll see that it automatically resizes. And that's because this file that we got from Mixkit already came with auto resizing expressions built in. If you want to learn more about After Effects expressions and how to use them with Mogurts, you can watch my full course up here on how to do After Effects Mogurts. All right, now that we've completed all the steps to get message one into the essential graphics panel, let's repeat the whole process again, but for message two and I'll fast forward 
as I do that. So now that that's done, we can give the Mogert a name. And you can also click on set post to frame here. So that way it'll show that frame inside of Premiere Pro as the thumbnail. Next, you can hit export motion graphics template. And here you can choose to save it into the local templates folder if you want it to appear in your essential graphics panel automatically on the machine that you're working on. But if you wanna share the Mogrit with somebody else, you'll want to choose local drive so that way you can share that file directly with that other person. So after you export it now in Premiere Pro, if you save it to your local templates folder, you'll be able to search for it right here in the browse tab. But if you didn't export it directly into your local templates folder, you'll need to click on the little plus icon to import the Mogrit file and test it out. Once you have it, just drag and drop it into your sequence and you'll see that the sound effects came with it. And then you can customize the messages as you like and add in your own placeholders. If you would like the more advanced version of this Mogart that I created that includes more controls such as updating the colors of the text bubbles and check boxes to turn off different elements, I've created a more advanced version that you can download for free if you sign up to become a patron and I've put a link to it just down below. Thank you so much to Mixkit for sponsoring today's video and providing all of these awesome free assets. Don't forget to check it out using my link just down below. And if this video helped you out, be sure to give it a big thumbs up as well as subscribe and hit that notification bell. That's all for today's video. And as always, keep creating better video with Gal. See you next time. Bye.